Hi there, water signs, water people, water spirits. This is Carrie at wooingnature.life, and this is your elements reading your reading for your element so this is for all my water water people so if you are water sun moon rising or if you know that your chart or you know your chart and you know you're very heavy on the water side then this uh, message is for you and um, I do encourage you to cross watch especially this month because what I'm getting is that some of you need to be working with each other so you need to be working across elements um, from the um, earth and the water. I've already done earth, fire, and air, and some of them need to connect with each other. So I am encouraging you to cross-watch for this because this is about you all getting together, making connections, doing powerful work together. Um, I don't know what spirit is going, how spirit is going to guide me moving forward, but I do know that there are going to be some changes in the way that the material is presented um, to you. And this was directed to me and, and, and directed toward me. So I am going to go ahead and be obedient and do what thus saith the spirit. So, um, um, so that was one of the things that came up is that you all need to start working with each other and start communicating with each other. Um, you do need to, um, to team up and pal up with your, um, elemental sisters and brothers out there. Um, but you also may be working with people of, of course, you're going to be working with people of other, um, elements. And so you need to know how to work with them because there, uh, there's work to be done. Okay. So I am going to be reading from the what is this, the mystical shaman's Oracle. I'm going to be doing a, um, medicine wheel reading. And there was a card that just popped up that I tried to ignore, but we'll see if it comes out later. If it doesn't, I'll bring it out in the end. So we're going to do that to get the um, get our bearings straight. OK, so dead in the center, we have the beauty way. The beauty way is a transformative process. OK. It's associated with the number four in this particular card. But the beauty way in general is um it is. It's about it. It's it's transitioning from one phase to another phase. It's about going from child to adult. It's about going from a phase in your adulthood to another phase. So, and what you're learning is to tame the wind. Taming the wind is about learning how to harness that wind energy. Wind energy is the mind. So you're going to have to be managing your thoughts, thinking about what you're thinking. <laughs> OK, seems like a lot for for you, but or seems like too much thinking. But I'm not encouraging too much thinking. What I'm encouraging you to do is to be aware of your thoughts, your thought patterns, the way that you are thinking. Um, when notice when your thoughts get the best of you and when your thoughts try to run away with you. So you have to learn how to tame them. You can do that with feathers. If you work with feathers, those of you who work with feathers, you can, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. You have to learn how to harness the, harness the, um, the power of thought. Very powerful teaching. It really is. And it does sit in the South position, which is where you are learning. Okay, in the West, we have the owl. That's some wisdom there. And that wisdom comes from your own experiences. It comes from the experiences of others in your family, in your ancestry, in your past. So the wisdom um, that you are, that you're walking with right now is really the wisdom that comes from the lessons and the teachings that you have gotten so far. So don't don't negate any of those. Like if things pop up from your memory, things that you remember that your mother taught you or your teacher, your first grade teacher, or, you know, um, something your grandmother said years and years and years ago to you that you're still walking with, that's where that comes from. So rely on that. Know that that is where that energy, uh, where that, um, where that, um, where that bo that boost is coming from and where the knowledge is coming from is coming from your own experiences. In the north, it's showing me many paths. So that means that um, don't just get 
don't get myopic when it comes to um, um, choosing a path. For those of you who are choosing a new path, uh, there are many paths. And so explore that. Okay, you don't have to feel afraid to explore that. I'm seeing that those paths that you do explore are like hands going up to you. It's like someone giving you um, uh, the um, the spiritual energy that you need, the spiritual power that you, that you need. It's also fueling your heart. It's fortifying your body, your um, your physical body as well. And it's also connecting you to the higher, um, to the higher, um, to the higher level teachers. Okay. So we're talking about spiritual teachers. Okay. Or spiritual gods, as some people call them. This is with 34 in this card. So for those of you who are paying attention to numbers, numerologically inclined you'll pay you'll want to look at that 34 and then in the last card we've got 43 so i would pay attention to those two numbers and also the number seven in your process this um the taming the wind is coming in with the 55 so that's some heavy duty changes that you're going to be making about dealing with those thoughts that I was telling you about. So in the east, which is the new horizon, we're talking about the rattle. That means the rattle shakes things up. The rattle breaks up energy. The rattle um, uh, creates a path for you to go on. So when we're talking about these paths here, the rattle is your way to the path. That's what I'm seeing here with this 34 and this 43 happening here. So if you want to access these paths, for some of you, it's going to be about going to the Akashic Records. For some of you, it's going to be about meditative um, practices that are going to take you into your ancestry. Some of you might be doing regressions, past life regressions, um, any kind of regression, okay? But make sure you get a reputable regressionist. That's all I want to say, because sometimes people leave you wide open and then you can't, you don't need to be wide open. OK, so make sure you get a reputable person who's going to handle that for you. Um, but the thing is to take your rattle with you, to walk with your rattle. Um, you are not here to just kind of uh, flow, go to 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 fall in. And I know that's really different because with water energy and water spirit, it just kind of moves. Um, but right now, as you're moving, you're also shaking. So you're doing some moving and some shaking that's coming up for you. But there is that transformation that has to happen. Um, you are safe. You are protected. You are going through an ascension process. I'm seeing all of that here. You are going from the earth to air. So, um, um, so that's why taming the wind is important. You're dealing with your thoughts are important. Logic and reason and knowing where that fits in your life versus when you are uh, walking that spirit way. Because the spirit way you have to you have to relieve yourself of your thoughts so that you can move efficiently and effectively and so that you can hear and move and be obedient. And so sometimes our thoughts can get in the way of that. OK, so that's why it needs a little bit of taming. But um, use rattles, bring rattles, bells, rattles, anything like that around you. I always keep my rattles with me because I never know when I might need them. OK, so when some energy needs to be broken up. Like, you know, you'll know, you'll know when you need it. Cause when you go in there, you're going to feel, it's going to be feeling dense and tense and stuff. You all are feeling people. So when you feel that it's time to bring the rattles out, it's time to bring the rattles out. Okay. I don't know what's going on up in here, but it's got to go. Okay. And so, so it's two things for the rattles. One is so that you can um, relieve and release the energy in the air. OK, and then the other reason is so that you will be able to access these spiritual paths. So this rattle is has serves a dual purpose. OK, the rattle serves a dual purpose. OK. All right. Good deal. I am going to move right along. That's just to get the foundation on what's happening. And again, this is um, where this particular reading is moving us from the full moon to the full moon. So. All of what I'm saying here is things for you to focus on between um, December 29th, which was the last full moon, into the next full moon. And the next full moon is going to be um, around De uh, January 28th. Okay? So it's just things to focus on right around this time. 
All right, I'm going to the wisdom of the oracle next for you. I'm just asking the spirits to speak to my water people from this deck, you know. Just whatever it is that you have to say to my water spirit people. Guidance focus. This is from December 28th to January. Oh, December 29th to January. <laughs> December. Ooh, there we go again. Regeneration. Remember I was saying with that beauty way card, you are uh, making a transformation of some sort. This is regeneration. So you're going to be growing new things. Things that you thought that you had lost. Okay. In the battle. Okay. You think about the arm of the starfish. Anybody know about the arm of the starfish? You take the arm off the starfish and it grows back, right? So in the process of living, certain things have gone, have, have fallen off or, you know, um, you may have feel like you lost some things in the process, maybe some things that you value or maybe some things that you wanted. Some people have lost innocence. Some people have lost faith. Some people have lost their will. Um, and all kinds of other things, but this is a time of regeneration. So you're going to be growing all those things back. Okay. And why? These are the questions that you're asking. You're like, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Don't stop asking why. That's how children learn so many things. And again, you are learning. Um, but again, you are also learning about how to tame your thoughts, right? So these questions that you have, um, I don't want, I want you to indulge them, but I want, don't want you to overindulge, okay? Indulge the questions, but don't overindulge the questions. Once you have received the answer from Spirit about something that you're asking, don't go back and re-ask it again and again and again and again, again and again and again and again and again, <laughs> Okay. Once you have asked the spirit something and they have told you, then act upon it and keep moving. Don't go backwards. Some people are traveling backwards. You need to be paying attention to the things that are happening around you, particularly your moon. Okay? Moon rules the water, so you got to be paying attention to your moon and your stars. Some of you need to be... Um, doing some astrological stuff. You need to be doing stuff associated with astrology, but not necessarily on the paper and the pen and the other paper, the computer, okay? Some of you need to actually spend time outdoors in nature, looking at the stars, observing the stars, paying attention to how the moon moves. The moon might not call you on the full moon. The moon might call you somewhere in between, but you got to be paying attention. You got to be observing, okay? So that you know, because sometimes the moon will call you when the moon gets ready to call you. Not necessarily because somebody said it's January 28th and it's the full moon and you need to go do a ritual. Sometimes your ritual might come somewhere in between. So you got to pay attention to that. All right. It's time to get to work. Clean up, clean out, clear your space, clear your mind specifically. Okay. That's the work that you have to do right now. And that's what's going to open the door. That's what's going to open up your mind's eye. That's what's going to open up your spirit mind. Okay, and that's also what's going to bring you some measure of peace. That's what's growing. Okay, your new sense of peace and well-being and, um, and you know, peace is one of those words that people say, oh, peace, this, peace, that, peace, my brother. <laughs> you know, I got to grab my peace, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff. And so I, I, you know, when we talk about peace, we're talking about your peace. Not somebody else is not what you think it is, okay? It's not about thinking. It's about feeling. It's about knowing. It's about being, okay? And you know when you're at peace. So when you are at peace, when things are calm, tranquil, and easygoing, grab that moment and pay attention to what's going on around you, okay? Take a hold of that moment, because you need to recreate it when you need to, or you need to uh, you need to reach for that at the moments when your mind is running away with you. Okay, so the spirits want you to come all the way to the edge. They don't want you to be holding back. They don't want you to be fearful. They don't want you to um, uh, feel like uh, apprehensive or hesitating or. Uh, slightly fearful or worried. Well, what if this? See, 
What if this, this when the why turns to what if, that's when you're going over. <laughs> what if this happens? And what if this happens? And what if this happens? You can't what if the, for the rest of your life. I mean, you can if you want to, but what if it's very passive? It's a passive um, stance. It's a passive mindset. Remember we're talking about this? Taming the wind. Where's taming the wind? I'm going to bring this out on y'all a lot. <laughs> okay? Look at it. That's a whole lot of conglomeration right there. All right. So they uh, when that when your questions turn into what if this and what if that, that's when you're going into fear place. The fear place is when you need to pull it back. That's when you need to tame that back, bring that back, okay? Clear your mind space of something. Okay, so it looks like to me that you are going to be exchanging gifts with somebody. That card is exchanging gifts. That means that your gift and somebody else's gift. And we're not talking about, I mean, it may turn into actually you gift giving. If you feel so moved to do that, you may feel moved to, to give actual objects to people. But really, it's about exchanging your spiritual gifts. So the gifts that God gave you and the gifts that somebody else, uh, God gave somebody else. You're going to be trading that with some other people. But first, got to get out of your head. And that's why they want you to come all the way. Come all the way. Don't be scared. Don't be fearful. The things that you're being led to, they are leading you to it for a reason. And really, it is for you to overcome your fear in order for you to be able to um, access it. This deck is talking today. This is the talking. This is the first time that the... Usually I get two or three cards. I get all kinds of cards from this deck today. Okay, so I'm seeing here these two came out poised in between the worlds. So you are somewhere in between here. That's why you're still asking the questions. That's why you need to tame the wind. That's why, you know, it's a regenerative and the message is about the transformation. You're poised and you're ready to go, but you're still in the in-between. Um, and then this mind stuff that you have to do is really what? what you got to do. You know, this is the work. This is the work. Okay. This is the work. Um, getting in control of the questioning. Okay. It's okay to ask why I want you to ask why, but I don't want you to ask what if, what if, and it's, and I, but why I got to end, and, you know, it's, 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 it's the intention behind the question. If you're curious, ask away all you want to. But when you're when it's it's a reason to not do, when it becomes an excuse, when it becomes mind rattling, uh, just stuff. Well, not mind rattling, but the, when you have to get your rattle out for your mind, okay? Because some people, some of y'all got to go get this out to rattle away the mind. This you got to rattle away some of those thoughts, okay? So when it's about that, then it's going to end up holding you back. And you don't feel like being held back on the technicality. And the technicality in this case being your thoughts, your excessive thoughts and your fearful thoughts, which are um, which you don't think are fearful thoughts because you just say, well, I'm just asking. I just want to know. Sometimes you don't want to know. Sometimes you just want to do something instead of doing what you have to do. <laughs> you just want to occupy your mind with things to say. <laughs> In order to not do. Sometimes that happens. So I'm just saying be mindful of that. And you know who you are. You know when you're doing it too. Right? You know when you're doing it. Because y'all are super aware. All right. We go into the tarot. The good tarot. To be exact. Here go my nose y'all. Sorry. I know I'm always with my nose. But it starts itching sometimes. I say it's the spirits coming in because they always say you know it's just when you're getting ready to have visitors and I ain't getting ready to have no visitors right now because we still in lockdown in this part of the world. All right, so might be some spiritual visitors. That's all right. We welcome you as long as you for the good of the all and the good of the cipher. All right, so let's see what's going on in the detailing here. We got three of water. That's you. You're creating. You're um, observing. I see that there are three things for some of you. There are three ideas or projects or something that you're nurturing. Could be three children. Could be three people. Could be three 
So pay attention to things that come forth in threes, okay? But there's there's some value there in it is what I'm saying for you, water signs. And then I see the six of fire. I love this card because this is that ship that comes out of nowhere, a ship from the sky. It's not even on water. It's in the air. And that goes back to what I was saying to you about that blessing way, the blessing way card. Where is it? The beauty way. Sorry, I said blessing way. Be the beauty way card, right? This is the lotus. The lotus is from the water. For some of you, you are nurturing the pearls of wisdom inside yourself, right? And then it gives rise to the dragonfly. Dragonfly represents transformation. And then here comes the transformation. So your ship is coming in, but it's not coming in like, you know, it may not be coming in like the way you're thinking it's coming in, but it is coming in. You need to be observant. Go back to that card, that observant card. We've got the seven of earth here, which tells me that you all need to connect to your earth sign people for spiritual work. Yes, your earth sign people are going to be giving you some kind of wisdom or knowledge that's going to come from an earth sign person. Capricorn, Taurus, or um, Virgo, or somebody with a lot of, uh, who's very earthy, who's very grounded, something like that, right? But this is spiritual information that you need and you need to connect to your earth people about it. So again, when I was telling you about cross watch and I've been getting this a lot, that the different um, elements need to be connecting to certain other elements uh, for their work. And so for this one, there is some information or wisdom um, coming, spiritual wisdom coming from an earth sign that you need to connect with them about. And what it is, is it has something to do with the way that you are going to express yourself in the world. Um, they're going to help you um, figure out how to express who you are in the practical world. And whatever it is, it looks like it's going to be something lucrative. It looks like something lucrative, but it has to do with your talent, your innate talent, your innate talent. Remember, we're talking about the exchanging gifts. This is what we're talking about. So the earth sign person, whoever this earth, earthy person is, is going to be giving you some spiritual wisdom. And that spiritual wisdom is then going to translate into how you're going to use your unique gifts and for it to become lucrative in the world. So it's, a, it's an exchange. It's a beautiful exchange there that's happening. Um, and then I see the 10 of air. That means that you're going to be able to make your wishes. You're going to be able to make your wishes come true. You're going to let go of things. You're going to speak things into the universe and you're going to start to see things turn and change around you because you're going to speak it into the universe. That's why you got to do this. That's why you have to do this work. Because if this power is coming into you or coming towards you right now, then the most important thing is for you to know how to manage your thoughts because your thought, it begins with thought and then thought comes out of your mouth. What you think you speak. And so you got to think about what it is that you're trying to manifest. But again, this information is going to come to you after you make this connection. So don't, don't start trying to speak things into the universe right now because one, you have to do this tame to wind work and then you have to connect to this earth person who's going to give you this wisdom that you need to move forward. Okay. This is a part of your life journey. I mean, I think that's obvious. It's a part of your life journey, but... Um, there's an unusual process to get you there. There's an unusual way that you're going to get there. Again, I see you coming to the edge in this card again, but I think that this, the way that you're going to make this leap is, is going to be through this earth. I think the earth person is going to help you make this leap. They're the ones that are going to give you the light to do it. And you got to trust them in that notion. You're going to have to um, exercise some trust there. Yeah, that's you coming to the edge, but it's somebody else that's going to shed that lighter that's going to help you see um, your way to the other, to, to make the leap if it's a leap that needs to be made. And I feel like there is a leap that needs to be made. And the leap is out, up, and around. Some of you are going to be doing something on a very global level. Some of you are going to be unlocking doors to other dimensions. Other dimensions are going to be opened up to you. 
So as you can see, this is not going to be a regular path. That's why you need the rattle. Many paths, many, many paths. You're going to be making some ascensions. More than one, apparently. Okay. So get comfortable. Get comfortable with your thoughts. Narrow down your thoughts. Get your thoughts things together. Wait for the change. Wait for that person to show up in your life. The change is coming and there is joy that is presenting itself. And I'm also seeing with this sun, I'm seeing Oshun. So for those of you who um, are connected to Oshun, you might want to do some rituals with Oshun during this time as well, because I am seeing her energy here in this card, very strong in relationship to you. I'm seeing her, her water, you know, sweet water. So that's a part of that. Is there anything else for my water people? Nope, that's it. All right, water folks, I am signing off. Uh, this again is from December 29th to J January 28th. If you would like to take a deeper dive, you know where to reach me. I'm at Carrie, K-E-R-R-I, at wooingnature.life. You can also follow Wooing Nature on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As always, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you're having a fabulous life. <laughs>